Hi, this is Chris and today I'm going to talk about why you should and how to create app design guidelines. Just as all organizations create visual identity guidelines and many also create design guidelines for their websites, it's a really good idea to also create app design guidelines for their apps. All organizations have visual identity guidelines that specify core rules about their identity. It contains things like how the logotype looks and can be used, and which colors, fonts and icons that should be used in marketing material. They usually also show how to apply the rules by giving practical examples. Many organizations have gone further and created design guidelines for their web presence with similar rules and examples. The fairly new channel of mobile apps has been used for all kinds of playful trial and error when it comes to both design and function. This is a good thing in general, but for an organization that wants to build their brand in a structured way, it's good to set up some basic rules on how their apps should be designed. Just as for the core and web guidelines, the main reason for creating app design guidelines is that it will ensure a consistent look of all the apps, it will contribute to a better user experience and will also save a lot of time when designing and implementing these apps. When creating app design guidelines, the most important thing to decide is to choose whether the design should be generic for all the mobile platforms or if there should be a specific guideline for each platform. As app users on a particular platform expect the apps to look and work in a specific way, my recommendation is to go with guidelines that are specific to each platform. For most organizations, supporting the two main platforms, iOS and Android, is enough as it, in most parts of the world they represent well over 90% of the users. If support for more platforms is required, it can become too expensive to build many different user experiences. But if generic guidelines are created, great caution needs to be taken to make sure that the users on each platform understand and accept the user experience. The first thing to define in the guidelines is the app identity. And with that I mean the look of the app icon, the app name, splash screen, colors, fonts, icons in the apps, bars, buttons, and so on. For example, you can see on the right how the app icon can be designed to allow to always include the logotype at the bottom, and then an image or icon that is specific to the app can be put above the logotype. A very important part of the guideline is the definition of how the navigation should work, and include things like top bars, back buttons, drawer menus, tab bars, etc. A consistent way to navigate the apps will make the user more efficient and will also save a lot of time during both implementation and maintenance. It's also a good idea to define the common screens like login, sign up, account, settings, about, etc. And also the common elements like search, messages, filter and sorting and so on. This will also speed the implementation of the apps as these common screens and elements can be created as reusable components. So that's why you should and how you can create app design guidelines. And with that, I wish you the best of luck with your app projects. Thank you.